Hey guys, the call I have for you is a um, sort of a no heat call. Customers called and said their heater would heat to 77 degrees even though they had it set on 70. And then sometimes it would just hum, wouldn't come on at all. So that's what, uh, that's what the symptoms were told to me. And that's what we're walking into. Here we go. All right, this lady complained that she'll set it on 70 and it'll go all the way up to 75. Well, right now, I'm not hearing anything. I wish I had my knee pad. I'll have it. I'll have it tomorrow. I'll have a new one tomorrow. Nope, I'm not hearing anything. I don't want to kill power because I might have a I might have a um, error code that can clue me in on what's going on. For the last three or four days, we've had rainy weather. Even some bad thunderstorms, some tornadoes, and today, blue sky. I'm thankful for that. Well guys, on this, right, I'm looking at that light and I'm thinking it should be a little bit brighter than that. Um, a dim light makes me suspect that the board's fixing to fail. And sometimes with a really dim light, it won't work at all. In fact, this one does work, but um, I had my suspicions about this board from the very start. Mm. <clears throat> Let's just do a couple checks on that board real quick. I'm gonna make sure we got a call on white. Hmm. That was on the thermostat. The thermostat was turned off. That's a mighty long delay. Alright, let's see if the blower comes on and we'll watch these flames. I didn't 
see the flames move at all. And judging by what I'm seeing, I think the heat exchanger has been replaced. Just stop running and buzz and not heat. Nothing coming out, just buzz. All right. Then, then like I said yesterday morning, it, it, you turn it on, it came on. I don't think there's no chance, but it's going to be cold this, uh, this coming weekend. All right, brown, black, blue, red. I'm going to look in here. I this heat exchanger looks like it. Either this isn't too very old or that heat exchanger looks like it may have been replaced. No, it's not that old. Oh, they came out and replaced it. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got a stainless heat exchanger. You talking about the heat exchanger? The whole thing. Oh yeah. Let me see that so yeah from 2011. Man. Yeah, Time flies, don't it? That's what it says. Yeah, I got that all over my pants. Uh huh. I think I have enough to work on it once or twice. You know, I work on this neighbor's house. Right here? Right here. Right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I worked on my sister too. That's what I, uh, I used to get uh, Matthew uh, off the Moon Road. Yeah. But I think he done got his dad. And y'all get a fight. You know, I call it up a couple other people. I raised this ridiculous. Uh, and I call y'all the guy who was a $2,000 different in the price. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, and there ain't no sense in trying to get rich on one customer. I, I, I know prices are high already, but um, no sense in gouging somebody. Yeah, that split unit, and one of the guys say that in the, in the split unit, the, the part on the inside is brand new. Uh huh. So they want to throw that away and just start all over again. That's what I'm telling you now. They ain't got to do that. And you still know where a brand new unit, half of it. That's what I call y'all. Y'all come out there and fix it up. You look right. Well, I'm glad we did you right. Me too. That's what I told you. Mm -hmm. All right. 
I got to run. Could you get that? Give me a call when you find out what's going on. Someone in the house. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. All right. All right, that capacitor red 10 microfarads. And it's a team. My jacket's still wet from getting rained on yesterday. And I did, I got poured on. That's never any fun. I'm not feeling any wobble in the bearings. There's a little bit of play back and forth, but that's that's normal. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you though that that board with the, just that dim light. That right that board's got me thinking that's what my problem is. Now that high limit switch protection device open. Oh, it may have been open because I had it, I turned it off without letting it cool off. Dim lights got me worried about this board.
every time you hear that draft motor start up it thinks it's sensing a flame because it's touching ground so the draft motor starts up but look at that. that that's pretty bad That looks much cleaner. In fact, that looks brand new. Okay, what happened to the screw? Yeah, that little dim light worries me. I think I'm gonna say something to the customer about that. I should have done a measurement before and after on that flame sensor. Picked up micro amps. I'm sure it's doing better now. This customer just approved the control board and replacing the thermostat. very honest with him about what I found in the thermostat was because they said it was going up to 75 when it was just set on 70 not because of anything that I found but um so they want to just preemptively reduce do the thermostat and take care of this board So that's what we're going to do. Oh. First, let's make sure we don't have power.
Nothing. Nothing. That's always good. try to show you the difference between that dim light and what you're supposed to see on these boards that, that this screw right here you see that ground symbol right there that has to be there that, I mean the screw has to be in and well grounded or else it's not going to sense a flame. Four dead frogs. Mm -hmm. That looks like my board right there. Mounted up. The ACC is not being used. So blue is for cool and red is for heat.
That just broke. flashing because we turned off without letting it cool off so let's let that cool off and see if we have a dim light all right it looks like we have one steady light and as you see it's brighter than what it was do the thermostat. Do hope you enjoyed that video everything turned out just fine i replaced the thermostat it came on like it was supposed to after a time delay so hopefully that rectifies all their problems and there will be no callbacks thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one